hello hello welcome back to the channel i'm harish in this channel i showcase different tools uh, and web applications uh, that allow you to create products mvps prototypes without coding and uh, in this specific video i am going to show you how to create a web page essentially from google sheets and uh, in this example this this you can treat this as a uh, follow up to my previous video where i talk about uh, creating a website using a tool called spreadsimple.com and in this specific one uh, i am going to show how to create a image based gallery using spreadsimple.com so let's get started so the first step that we're going to do is uh, i'm going to use this api uh, the subreddit uh, which is astrophotography and uh, in my previous video i'm linking that down in the description and also on the i card you can click and see how to import a subreddit into a google sheet without coding so we've already done that and i have the data in my sheet here where you can see the there is a title title of the image then we also have the photograph so this is the title that is the title we have and then we have the url of the image right using these two columns we are going to uh, create a a website right so let's quickly go to spreadsimple.com if you don't have an account on spreadsimple.com please go make one uh, with spreadsimple.com you can create uh, websites and uh, web applications where you can pretty much do anything from creating a e-commerce store to uh, creating a simple website or a landing page right so i'm going to go into my dashboard and uh, let me quickly delete there is an app already that does this so let me just quickly delete this one and uh, i'm going to create a new one and uh, we need just the google sheet link right so i'm going to copy this and paste it here and click continue and uh, okay so yeah as you can see it says uh, anyone with the link should be enabled so let's uh, uh, quickly name the sheet i haven't even named the sheet so this is uh, import json from apis yeah and uh, i'm going to change this to anyone with the link so done and now i am going to copy this oh it's already copied sorry yeah i'm going to copy that and paste it here and that's it you don't need anything else to start off building a website using spreadsimple.com so uh, what happens now is you have a site and you have some data here now we need to clean this up and uh, yeah uh, pretty much show what we want to show from the google sheet right so i'm going to go to content first and uh, yeah in the content uh, sheet that we are in you can uh, select the title since we already have a column that says title i'm going to select that and i'm going to quickly change the image so that we can see the content on the right side so i am going to select the url column as the one that has the image so let's find the url column really quickly and select that where is it yep oh sorry it's not required remove remove Let me click, click save first so that uh, it it loads up. As you can see, uh, it loads the images along with the titles that were selected. And now, if you if you are into photography and have um, different photographs and want want to showcase uh, or create a portfolio, for example, you can absolutely use this. Just create a sh simple sheet, have the columns with the titles, and if you want to have descriptions, add the descriptions as well along with the image URLs and uh, yeah that's pretty much how you create a portfolio for all your images and this is just a simple example of how you can convert a google sheet based data into a gallery based website using spread simple and obviously absolutely no coding there are many other options uh, let me go back to my website i'll show you all the other options as well uh, this is the one that i created let me rename that 
let me rename the gallery example and then click save and uh, let me add try pro to this since i have one subscription with the tool now uh, let's go back to the oh sorry let's uh, go back to the dashboard of the website that we just created and see what we can do yeah you can customize the header you can upload a new logo if you want and then you can also customize the header layout uh, you can make it bigger if you want to showcase one specific image you can do that and then add a description and also photo text that is going to appear at the end of this and then if you go to content you can pretty much change uh, anything that you want add a subtitle if you have like a short one liner about the image that you want to show you can select the column here i'm not going to select any of that for this example and uh, let's say you plan to sell uh, any of your artworks right if let's say you create a website for uh, your paintings that you have you can simply add a buy button and if you have if you are from india and uh, if you want to sell something online i would recommend going to instamojo because they support creating instant links or even razor pay does that so just select that and add those links as a separate column and you can immediately start selling from this website right and uh, if you want to link your own domain you can do that you can change domain and connect your own domain and this one is uh, going to cost you about eight dollars a month so make sure you remember that and uh, yeah you can set up your own domain and pretty much redirect uh, make this your new store itself instead of running around a developer for something very simple that you want to create right but if you want to customize design for your own store and all of that you will still need to go to a proper designer get it designed and all of that process but if you want to see uh, and try something really quickly and uh, if you want to evaluate an idea I think this is a great way to do it. There is also an option for SEO on the left where you can add meta title, meta description. And you can also disable uh, Google search engines to index this in case you don't want this website to appear on search. And uh, yeah, you can add a fav icon which appears here beside the title on the tab. And then you can also up upload an OG image. Uh, this is the tag that is used uh, for all the social sharing. So, so when you share the website link in let's say linkedin or twitter or facebook it will grab this image and show it as a preview image uh, in the post that you want to share on any social media and there are other settings as well we can look at look at them if you want to add let's say google analytics or any tracking analytics you can use the script uh, here you can use any of this depending on the scripts requirement if you want to add a live chat like for example crisp on this website uh, crisp is a tool that you can integrate onto your website to do uh, live chat with customer support or uh, if you want to talk to the visitors you can use a tool like Crisp for TDO or other tools which allow you to do that you can copy the code they give you and paste it here right and along with that you can also add uh, website language you can add a custom widget if you have any widget uh, let's say you have a social share widget that floats on the sidebar right you can add that as well by pasting the code here all of these options are pro options so if you pay the subscription fee on spreadsymbol.com you should be able to create this so ideally if you are someone who is looking to create a quick website and uh, see if the idea really works or not i think uh, this is a great way to go about it and uh, if you have liked this video please do drop a like below uh, i have linked the api as well in the description and do subscribe if you haven't already that will uh, help me create more uh, such interesting videos in helping you build stuff without coding. Peace.